Brian Powell of Iron Far here with Michael Wardian before the 2014 Tarawera Ultra Marathon. How you doing, Mike? I'm doing great, man. Thanks for having me. Yeah, it's been a long time since we've spoken on camera, but uh, yeah. So, what have you been up to, running wise? Last year, you had a lot of, or sort of in the beginning of last year, you were coming over a long bout of injuries. Yeah, I had. What have a, you been up to? I had like uh, four months off with a bunch of stress fractures and uh, some hernias, but. Uh, I was able to race 41 times in uh, 2013. I had some mixed results, mostly good, and everything moving like in an upward progression. So um, started off 2014 um, with a, the Dopey Challenge at Disney World. So I won the inaugural Dopey Challenge, which was a 5K, 10K, half, and full marathon, which I'd always wanted to do the Goofy Challenge, and this is the first year they had all four races all that you together. could do. So that was cool. And then I um, had a really neat experience at the Coastal Challenge in uh, Costa Rica. It was their fifth, or I'm sorry, 10th anniversary. Mm -hmm. So they had a bunch of um, pretty amazing athletes come in and I was able to mix it up with those guys and... Um, and win. Yeah, and it went. <laughs> <laughs> well, and, and that, that was a, a nice benefit. Um, but really, it was cool just to get to experience Costa Rica yeah. and to, you know, have an early season with um, some, some good climbing and um, descending and... Uh, being able to come out on top was a well a different a situation than Marathon to Sabi. You think your stage race, you know, yeah. having run that multiple times, helped out there? I think yeah. I think uh, having done um, stage races in the past was helpful. Some of the guys hadn't, so yeah. I think that um, it's 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 a different type of uh, event. And that one you don't have to carry, so yeah. it's kind of nice. You just wake up and hammer every day, and then you get to eat as much as you want. Whereas in Marathon to Sab, you just like starve, you know, yeah. for the rest of the time so that was um that was really cool and then i um was able to uh do pretty well and win the Caltown ultra marathon in fort worth and then the following was weekend, that 50k it was a 50k yeah and how that time wise how'd that go good i ran like uh three hours and 21 seconds um oh, wow. and broke the course record by like 10 minutes and i think my next competitor was like 30 minutes back so yeah. I, I had a good day um and then two weeks ago, I was second at the 50K road national championships. Mm -hmm. So good, good lead up to this. Yeah. You've always been very strong on, on the flat races and non-technical yeah. races. Yesterday we were running and you said at Coastal Challenge, you felt much more confident in your climbing and descending ability. How yeah. How have you worked toward that? Uh, well, you, when you don't do as well as you want, <laughs> you work on those things. So I've been... Uh, trying to make sure that I get on more technical descending type trails. Uh, I don't, we don't have long ones, you know, in DC, but, um, whenever I can, I, I do that. And then I try to, um, get, uh, on the treadmill and just crank that sucker up and power hike and run. And, and, um, it was cool to be able to stay near, you know, the guys at the coastal challenge and, and to feel like, I wasn't out of my realm, you know, like I was, I was there, you know. And there's some very strong climbers in the center, Nick Clark, Martin Geffery, those. And, and uh, Philip Ryder. Philip Ryder, yeah. Yeah. So. And I was lucky because Philip's like such a stud and, and all the other guys and, and, and I was just able to like fall in and just be one of the groups. So that was, that was kind of good for me. And, and even on the descending, you know, Nick's really strong descending and so is Philip and, and I was kind of like near them and not like, like. I don't know, a, like a doe or something, yeah. you know, like, so it was cool. That's probably real encouraging for anybody out there who lives in a, you know, flattish big city or flat area of the country who wants to go run a, yeah, a, an ultra marathon, whatever their goal may be. Yeah. That you can prepare yourself even if you don't live in the, the big If you're mountains. a flatlander. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which is, you know, a lot of us, you know, yeah. a lot of us don't have the access that other people do, but, um, if you want it and you're willing to, you know, kind of keep working at it and I'm not saying I'm, you know. I'm not dialed in yet, but, you know, I'm working there. This weekend, Tarawira, even more your style. I hope yeah. so, yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, I, we were able to get out on the course yesterday, and um, it's unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it was hard not to just jump and be like, okay, I'll see you guys in like three hours, you know, <laughs> because um, it was just, uh, uh, everywhere you look, it's, 
jaw dropping. So I'm happy I actually saw a little of the course beforehand so that I'm not spending half the time like with my head on a swivel trying to see everything. <laughs> yeah. um, so I can really kind of focus and um, it looks like there's some climbing, but there's also um, some sections that, you know, hopefully I'll bode well to the things that I can, you know, be competitive with. Yeah. Well, there's a bunch of guys in the race that have had success on, you know, in trail ultras, but have also a really fast and flatter one. Imagine yeah. Armstrong's one, American River. Yes. Sage obviously has tons of speed. Not to uh, mention the rest of the competitors, but like. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No. Even if there's, unlike, say, in the, some other ultra marathons, if it's 30K to go and it's slightly downhill on like. Dirt yeah, it's going to be a, a lot of fast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm expecting to have some serious uh, pain at that mm-hmm. point and. And to know that um, there's going to be a lot of guys that uh, they may not be near you or they may be in front of you. And uh, there's there's going to be, I think, a lot of uh, back and forth mm-hmm. and a lot of people attacking and a lot of people um, biding their time. And, and it's just going to be cool. Like, I can't wait to see what happens. And there's so many guys that, you know, aren't getting the love that some of the other people are that yeah. are just like incredible athletes totally. so um i'm looking forward to like getting to run with those guys too. so this right race might be a little more strategic than say a mountainous 100 miler oh i think so yeah i mean i think that there's going to be definitely some gamesmanship and and it's going to be interesting to see when people try to make moves and and like if anyone goes with them or they kind of let them break away mm-hmm. and then hope they come back like i mean i know last year that you know timmy was almost catching sage but he kind of ran out of real estate mm-hmm. and um so it'll be curious to just see how it goes and the weather's been kind of um off and on and it looks like it's going to turn out to be kind of a really nice day so that should be um should be great for the race awesome well best of luck out there good seeing you michael hey and thanks a lot take care